Oh, now, and okra soup combo is always a hit when it comes to draw soup. But you see this one right here, eh? It will make you eat and eat and eat and you will still ask for more. Hi lovelies and welcome back to The Bell Cooks. I shared in this video a very easy recipe how to make the best and the most delicious okra and obono soup you will love this one it's super delicious in fact you eat and be licking your fingers it's a must try recipe stay tuned lovelies and keep watching here i have okra already cleaned i sliced it off camera if you're slicing your okra for this soup please make it a bit chunky like you can see look at mine in the video it makes you enjoy the soup more. One of the secrets to making a delicious okra and obono soup combo is using plenty okra. Apart from okra, other ingredients I used for this soup are stock fish head, some dry fish, crayfish. Before using your crayfish, make sure you wash it very nicely. Uziza seed, calabash nutmeg, and obey. Please make sure you roast your calabash nutmeg and obey before using them. Red oil, beef stock. I have already pre cooked the beef. Red bell pepper and some red hot chili. This one is called scotch bonnet pepper. And some red onion. Get your pot, the pot you want to use for this soup. Add your stockfish head. Make sure you wash this stockfish head very well. Add little water, add salt, then cover this to cook few minutes. I love cooking the stockfish head first. It makes the stockfish head to release that deliciousness into the pot and it makes it very soft by the time your soup will be done. This is few minutes later. I started adding the other ingredients the chopped onion, the chopped chili. This is a blend of the crayfish, the oziza seed, the calabash nutmeg and obey. The dry fish and the beef stock. Remember to adjust your salt, okay? Cover your pot so that your soup will cook. Meanwhile, in another pot, we are going to dissolve our obono. To do this, in a dry pot, add your red oil, then pour the obono, the blended obono, inside the oil. Please don't leave the flame on while doing this. If you want to melt your oil, just turn on your flame, melt the oil first, then turn off the flame before adding the obono. Add your obono, the blended obono, then mix it and turn it until the obono is well dissolved. The soup has been cooking for like six to seven minutes. At this point, go in with the dissolved obono. Add it to this boiling or cooking soup. Give it a very good stir so that the obono will mix well with the soup first. Then I went in with the pre-cooked beef. I adjusted the salt. I also added little water. This is because I already knew the water in the soup will not be enough to cook the obono very well because it's going to be very thick if I don't add water. So I added more water and I left the soup to cook. Whenever you add your obono to your soup, do not cover your pot. Covering your pot reduces the draw strength of the obono. So I did not cover this pot and I left it to cook for a few minutes. Make sure you stir it from time to time, otherwise your soup might get burnt too. After a few minutes, can you see how thick this soup is? Remember we are cooking this soup with okra. At this point, this obono has cooked well. So I added the sliced okra at this point. Add your sliced okra. I love this part a lot. Can you see that okra? 
I told you I love to use so much okra whenever I'm making okra and obono combo. It makes it super delicious. Look at it. Mix everything together. At this point, we are allowed to cover the pot, but don't cover it completely. I will cover this pot and allow it to boil. Just boil. Don't allow it to overcook because this is veggie. Okra is veggie. If you overcook it, you will not like it. Ooh la la, shirts. Look at our soup. This was two minutes later because this is a big pot of soup. It will not boil immediately. This is our soup. It's looking so, so yummylicious. And if I tell you that the aroma, mm -hmm, the aroma is another thing, another level. I don't want to talk about the taste because if you taste this soup, eh? You will dash me your money, or you will dash me everything. So this is this soup looking so yummy, 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 delicious. This soup at this point is done. JJ, turn off your flame and serve your soup. If you are not using this soup for a party, maybe you want to transfer to containers and put in your freezer. Go ahead, transfer them to your freezer friendly plate like I do and when they are a bit cold, pop them in your freezer. Feel free to pair with any carbohydrates of your choice and enjoy. This soup is my children's favorite. And if you try this soup using this recipe, you will eat and eat and eat and eat and you will still ask for more. Hope we enjoyed this recipe. Please like this video drop your comment and also share with your friends and if you are new please hit the follow button by the grace of god i shall see you all in my next video until then stay strong stay motivated stay blessed and keep looking unto jesus only from him our help comes thank you so much everyone bye bye